This video is going to show you how to calculate the area of a rectangle. Now remembering that a rectangle is different from a square because it has one pair of sides that is equal length and another pair of sides that are equal length. They are also opposite sides are parallel. They won't necessarily have these parallel markings, uh, but they will have these hash marks um, to show that the opposite sides are equal. Now, also within that, remembering that rectangles have all corners as um, 90 degrees or right angles. I think that the formula to find the area of a rectangle is probably more straightforward than the formula to find the perimeter. So just going to jump straight into it and show you that the area equals the length times the width. Again, we'll usually call the longer side the length, and there's two of them, and the shorter side the width. If I had an example down here, I'm going to go with one that has, that's pretty straightforward, five centimeters on this side, 10 centimeters on this side. So because I was calling this one the length and this one the width, I'm going to write down the bottom L equals 10, W equals 5. And I know that this side and this side are equal, both are 10, and this side and this side are equal and are both 5. So I'm going to highlight that and that for color. I'm going to go through with my formula, A equals L times W. I know already that my length is 10, so I'm just going to substitute that in there. My width is 5, so I'm going to go times 5. 10 times 5 is 50, and I'm dealing with centimeters, I know that. And because I'm looking at what's actually inside the shape here, I know I'm dealing with square units, so 50 centimeters squared. It's going to be the exact same if the uh, rectangle is positioned differently. So if I had a rectangle that was facing this way, it doesn't matter which has one hash mark and which has two as long as they are opposite. I'm going to go 8 meters and 3 meters which means that this is 8 metres and this is 3 metres. My area formula is still going to be A equals length times width. Now we may decide to call this one the length and this one the width, in which case I will add that in there and blue for the length. My length is 8 and my width is 3. Length 8, I don't need to put the units in until I get to the answer, times 3, which is my width. 8 times 3 is 24. I need to go back and look at the units that I'm dealing with, which is meters. So I'm going meters, and because I'm looking at that shape inside here, I know that that is square meters. So as long as you have those two lengths that are the same, two widths that are the same, you are able to use that length times width formula 